Let's have a look at scientific notation as a way of writing really big numbers. On this page, we have four different ways of writing exactly the same number. So all these four are exactly this number. Now, this number, a good old normal old number, is going, is, we're going to call it being written in standard form. When we write it like this, we're going to say it's in scientific notation. Take note, for scientific notation, we need to have just one digit before the comma, and that digit can't be zero. So it must just be one digit before the comma, and that digit can't be zero. So this is that number written in scientific notation. This is a perfectly decent way of writing that number, but it isn't scientific notation, because although it's got a digit before the comma, that digit is zero, and we said it had to be a digit that isn't zero before the comma. And again, this is another way we could have written this, but it isn't scientific notation, because it has two digits before the comma, and for scientific notation, we only want one digit before the comma. Okay, let's look quickly how we would move from one form to the other. So, if we've got this form here, we have written it in scientific notation. We want to turn it into standard form. So all we need to do is we need to go and multiply out 8,572 at 10 to the power of 6. And when we do that, we're going to move that comma 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places, right? And we'd have to put in zeros for all those. And so what we'll get is 8, 5, 7, 2, 0, 0, 0. The exact reverse is what we'll do when we're trying to get it into scientific notation. For scientific notation, we know we want to get it into the form 2 comma 9 5 times 10 to the what? Well, how do we get back to 2 comma 9 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places to go back. So it's 2 comma 9 5 times 10 to the 5.